welcome to the video. Oh, finally got one for the, well, for the, <laughs> when I'm filming it. Yeah, welcome to the video. Four night birthday session, Kurt's birthday. Me, Kurt, Ilbury Tembe, Del. Del's had one last night. I've had that this, this morning, a little common. Good start, a cracking start. Yes. Um, go over rigs and all that, all that sort of stuff later on, but yeah. What a good way to start the video. I've not done a video for a few weeks, uh, but back on it, back fishing. Yeah, we're on it. This is an urgent appeal brought to you by the Carpenhagen YouTube channel. This is David. Every session, he struggles to push a heavy, poorly loaded barrow. It's back-breaking labour, but he knows he has no choice. He is desperately in need of help. Before it's too late, he knows that every session could be his last. was to fish a peck that isn't next to the car park. By donating two pounds a month, you would help an angler like David and help stop the cruel practice of barrow pushing. Your two pounds a month could help David buy a battery powered barrow and let him live in a world where he can fish any peg on any lake. Two pounds a month and give an angler like David hope. Please. Right, proper welcome to the video. Right, I'm on, yeah, as I said before, I'm on the syndicate on Kurt's 30th birthday, 30 years. Start of the month, but um, we left it a couple of weeks. So uh, oh well, open for the better weather, and we've definitely got it, haven't we? Um, at the minute, me and Kurt are in peg two because there was a load of fish here, and we've been drifting dog biscuits across them. At first, one or two saw a bit of interest, but it's not, it's not really materialised. They've sort of moved over to two and three. It's like they've just moved along a peg. Uh, Kurt's just putting some more out now with a throwing stick. We're trying, though. We're chasing them with zigs. It looks shocking for a bite on the bottom. Absolutely shocking. So. Well, that's why we're fishing zigs. Um, three foot and a three and a half foot. It's probably about three and a half foot deep. Just, just, just little and often. A few dog biscuits now and again, drifting. On slight breeze, um, but you know, as I said, it's not. You don't look like it's happening to be honest. But it's either that or sit behind three solid bags with nothing, probably. So we just do. We're trying to do what we're trying to react to what we see. Fish under the surface, trying where they are definitely here. So location's not an issue. It's just trying to work out how we're going to try and catch one. Um, Ilbury Tembe's actually caught one on a three foot zig, but it was a tench. Um, so I suppose it's a bit of action in it really, but yeah, it's not, it's not what we're after. Yeah, uh, I'm on, well, zig, zig at the minute, rod on the floor, but three, four night on Monday to Friday on the Syndicate. Absolutely brilliant. Right, sir. I'll update you shortly, hopefully, uh, with a zig cart carp. Okay, Alright, Dell's in. It looks decent, that Dell. Yeah. So first when the, when the receiver went, I didn't know whether it was Dell's receiver or Dave's. I know, that's what I thought. I thought it was Dave. Dell's had one. <coughs> OK. 
Kurt's trying to claim it as his fish. <laughs> <laughs> right, solid bag rig. Two rods are going on this. I've had all three, but I'm changing one. I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. Right, 12 mil pop up. Um, that's not what I caught the fish and I caught the fish in a pig's eye. A red one I made myself. Basically, it's a bowl, bowl back rig, size four hook. Um, little fox pop up weight. Probably looking at about, I reckon from the rig, braid, sort of from the swivel to the to the hook, up bait, looking at about four and a half inches, I reckon, maybe four. Uh, ring swivel, solid bag stem, two ounce lead. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it's run of the mill in it. Uh, the other one though, however, one of my rods, I've caught one now, so I'm messing up more. Not saying messing about. I never caught a carp on a runny rig. Somehow, I don't know how, but I haven't. I think it's only me in the world who hasn't. So, so <laughs> I'm going to try this one. Off. I'm going to put two rods on the spot I caught at, about 55 yards out uh, in front of me. That's what I caught the fish off. Right. Same again, everyone's seen the solid bag rig, everyone's seen the Ronnie rig. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, Dell, who caught one yesterday, he caught one in a krill wafter. I'm using krill boilies, that's what I'm putting a few out, not a lot, maybe 10 round the bait, uh, round each solid bag yesterday. 12 and 16 mil, this is a 14 mil pop up, match the hatch. Dell's came on a match the hatch, match the hatch wafter, as they say, or match the hatch. Yeah, sink slowly, looking at about 10. 10, 11 inches of uh, coated braid, better put it in the middle. And then <clears throat> I've got no helicopter gear with me, so uh, lead clip, one of the fox ones at small weight, that way it is, that lead, one and a quarter ounce. Uh, I can hit a distance with that comfortably and it won't pull the rig into the silt too much. So, uh, yeah, slow sinking, small lead, should. I should be all right, I should be presented, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I'm using. <laughs> Just slip that tench back. It's probably the best tench I've ever caught, that. But it was four or five pound. I think my PB tench was four and a half. It looks a bit bigger than that one. Yeah, it's almost it's action in it really, but yeah, uh, Kurt had one last night. Um, wiped, out, wiped out one of his rods, fishing tight on the spot, so I suppose recasting in the dark that tight. So you just, you just fish one rod. Um, I lost one and it, it, it hit the surface halfway out and sort of caught a slight glimpse from my head torch and we weren't doing anything. No, I put me I put my fishing gear on, it was a better fish. But you don't know unless you land them for sure, do you? So and then about half two in the morning, it'll be ten we woke up. Uh, or he's, well he might have already been awake and uh, come and give us a lift. Oh, just just we weighed we weighed it just under ten. I would have bigger looking at it. Only a bit, you know, low double, but the old Ruben Eatons don't lie, do they? Well, depends who's, using, depends who's using them, done it. I think if it wasn't the social, I'll be honest, I'd be down the other, I'd be down the, uh, I'd be down the far end, the slightly shallower end. Uh, but Kurt's birthday social, we're all next to each other. Had a laugh though, it'd be really funny. Take away both, take away both now. <laughs> right, we've had the takeaway. We're watching the football, yeah, Chelsea v Brighton. Nah, on the old, uh, on the old yeah, iPad. Pulisic. Yeah. First goal scorer, Pulisic, Kurt, Havertz, Ilbili Tembe. Who am I, Jorge, Jorginho? Jorginho. He's on the bench. Yeah, is it? Nah, I don't know. Got a fire as well. Pretty dangerous fire, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to watch the footy, win my bet, and then threaten someone. <laughs> Make Kurt a brew for his birthday. The birthday brew, tea bag. Get the old white now. Can't can't uh, can't be trusted to remember milk. So uh, keep that white now. Not not the best, but uh, it's better than no. Better than no milk. 
There we go, that'll do. That'll do. Right, make Kurt's brew for him. The birthday brew for the shirt. There we go, oh yeah. There we go. Kurt, your brew's ready. The Hillbilly Tembe has become the Hillbilly Tenchbe. It's a carp, that. You two are just fucking blind. It's a carp. Hillbilly Tenchbe. What did he say? Put it, put them in the net. Yeah. I'm gonna release it. Really? This really? Will be, this will be frowned upon, won't it? Release it to go and pick up one of our other rods <laughs> in <laughs> about half an hour. I just don't think that net's suitable. What's this oil slick, James? Is that from your something in your bed? Oh, <laughs> right, sir, I've put three zigs out. Nothing last night, I can't believe. None of us caught anything last night, but it did drop to zero or minus one. Uh, I've got two three foots and a two foot. Just see the fish show couple of pegs up from me in the middle uh, I reckon from watching them previously I think they'll move down the wind's a bit nippy I think it's a southeasterly it's got a bit of a nip in it but um, the sun's out it's gonna be out for quite a while I think they'll follow it down me so I've got zigs positioned at um, 18 wraps 16 and 14 just staggered them two threes and a two foot hopefully someone will come across them um, as they well oh, <sighs> Sort of gambling on a moving across us three. We're out in the middle of the lake. Hopefully they'll, they'll move across all three of us, and maybe one of us will get a chance. But yeah, last day now, into the last 24 hours. Um, it's not fishing the best. It's not fishing the best. But you know, we, we've, we've seen fish. We've had fish, so it's better than no fish in it at all. Yeah, just need the Obli Tembi now to uh, pick one off, and, uh, and then it's it's job done for all three of us. Oh. Right, uh, third fish. Third fish. Uh, seen a few on the surface at the end of peg two. Uh, front of peg two, sorry. Got a few taken, took me about an hour and a half with, with single dog biscuits with a throwing stick. Come round the other side, thought I'm going to put a solid bag to him. I've got my floater gear on me because I'm a melt. Yeah, half, not in half an hour. Solid bag, dipped in empoil. Not on the floor, lay down. Twitchy take. I thought it was a tension weed, but uh, this, that, yeah. Keep mega dark common. Really nice. It's said all, 12, 13 pound maybe, but best, uh, best fish of the session anyway up to now for me. Yeah. A bit closer to We on? Yeah. Right, biggest one of the session. Um, didn't say what, 17, it's about just, probably just another 14. It's a mid double in it though. Yeah, nice, uh, decent common in the middle, from the middle area again, on the old solid bag. How's it looking, Kurt? Yeah, that was spot on. Yeah, that'll do. Cheers, son. Son! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right, end of the session. Um, what do we end up on? Yeah, well, we all caught anyway. We had four, I lost one. It's not seen, but it's not fishing the bay. It never is, right? I couldn't put my timing shot. Uh, but yeah, we all caught, more importantly, Kurt's birthday, the social. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Four nights. It's <laughs> Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm like an homeless person. I'm gonna go to the garbage and I'll pump my tire up, get something to eat, and get a drink parched. Parched? I've got some water here. Hillbilly water. <laughs> Hillbilly water bottle. Yeah, right. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Carp and I go out. <laughs>